Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Milky. It's currently, it's currently 6 a.m. I kind of woke up at 5 a.m. to film this video. So, you know, please subscribe. If, <laughs> consider subscribing and following me on Roblox and my social medias. Anyways, today we're going to be talking about when things Royal High players shouldn't do slash should stop doing. Because I'm sick and tired of seeing people getting angry at the devs on Twitter. So, yeah. Anyways, I wanted to discuss this, you know, on my channel. Where else would I discuss this at? Um, yeah, so basically, let's get started. So, number one thing, which I just clearly just said. The first one, the first thing is that people keep attacking the devs if they don't get something they want. First of all, let's start off with the Angel Halo. So much people got mad that they didn't get the Angel Halo uh, because of the gifts, which um, it is understandable. There's no need to get mad at the developers. It's just that your friend had to gift you something, which not everyone has a bunch of friends on their friends list, so it's completely understandable. But don't take your anger out on the developers. You could easily just go to Trading and Trade, Trading Hub and trade for it, which, you know, that's quite easy. <laughs> Then you know, some people decide to take their anger out on others. Isn't that a little interesting? If you guys don't know already, um, a lot of developers do get attacked on Twitter for really, really stupid things. I can explain to you how many tweets I've seen adding Jam Jam or Call Me Bob for other various things that are seriously annoying. And, you know, bothering a developer and saying their work is garbage or something like that. So much people were complaining about the HAL 2020 Halo that one time. I was like, it's pretty. What in the world? I loved how it looked personally. And, you know, there's a lot of haters. Haters are gonna hate. But, you, you know, you just turn the haters away. Just by saying. Like, just don't respond to haters. They're just a waste of time. On to the next one. Oh my goodness. When I tell you this one is annoying. It, you know, it's the most annoying thing and it shouldn't be done. Like, what is even the point of someone scamming someone? Like, get a life. Get items yourself. What? It's not that hard. Like, you really took the time out of your day just to ruin someone else's. Just by scamming their item. There's a lot of little kids that get scammed and... I've gotten scammed recently, so I can completely understand how it feels to get scammed. Scammers just need to be banned and get off of Roblox. It's horrible. There's scammers all over the world, but you know what we can do? We can protect ourselves from scammers. Don't fall for any of these stupid little dumb scams that scammers trick you into. Manipulating little idiot pest bugs that need raid to be sprayed on. Ants that need to be stomped into the ground. Ugh. As along with that, as I was saying, scammers are just bad. Okay, if this isn't a pet peeve or not, <sighs> Jesus hurts me to say this so much, but on Twitter or on any social media platform, a lot of people pressure the developers to like add things to the game, like, like add this in the game right now. I mean, I don't think it's a bad intention, but I'm just saying that puts a lot of pressure on them, like. Even to check Twitter, that must be a lot to take in because there's always criticism, harsh criticism. And most of the time it isn't even criticism, it's just hate. And I know a lot of developers have to go through that because y'all, some people are whack. Like, why are you gonna hate on someone that made your favorite game? Huh? That's what I don't understand sometimes, you know guys? But, you know, at the end of the day, Cinnamon Toast Crunch are just the best cereal on earth. So, I mean, in all, ser in all, serious, all seriousness, like, I just, in, in my personal opinion, I don't think it's right to pressure um, the developers to add things into the game. Like, and like unless it's a, ni a really nice concept to get their intention and stuff, I don't see anything wrong with that. I've never made a concept personally, so I wouldn't really know. But yeah, that's just, that's just an opinion about things. Like, especially if someone says, get this in the game right now, or sending death threats to developers to add it in the game, that's not okay. But yeah, to get an attention, I think that's fine because like there's really underrated people who make a lot of good concepts. Anyways, on to the next one. Okay, this just has to stop. I don't even understand why people do this. Like, if you do this, well, um, 
stop, please? Well, I'm kind of a part of this, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Um, stop bullying in Roy High. What do I mean by that? Don't judge someone based off their appearance or call them poor or something like that. That's that's literally so annoying. Like, shut up, you idiotic numbnut. I'm not talking to you guys directly. I'm talking to the bully here. Pretend I'm the bully, for example. Shut up, you stupid cinnamon toast crunch. I will eat you, chom chom chom. Yummy yum yum. I will eat you. Shut up and stop bullying. That shall, that shall be the end of the discussion. Stop bullying. Only I can bully. <laughs> Roast. Not bully. Roast. <laughs> Lastly, um, I don't see the point in odoring. Odoring. <laughs> odoring. I don't see the point in odoring. Like, what, what are you going to get out of it? Hey, little oh, cute. <coughs> I'm joking. On the zebra cake. Hey, little cute cinnamon toast crunch. Hey. I'm done. I'm so done. Just don't. You never do know who's behind the screen. It could be an old man. You never know. Don't do it, kids. It, yeah. <laughs> well, if it isn't the classical trading hub, the place that I hate, that you hate, we all hate. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> The place where 99% of the players get scammed in Royal High. But this isn't related to scamming. This is when someone declines your trade right when you trade them. And you go into a trade, and when you're trying to say something, like, hey, I don't... And they just decline. <laughs> Especially when people call you rude when you say no thank you. That has happened numerous times, and they're like, I'm going to expose you for being a road YouTuber. I already am. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> But this happens the majority of the time. Like, someone says no thank you to an offer. And like, why would you say that, you little idiot? I'm going to report you to Barbie. Oh my god, you little stupid little crackhead. And yeah, that happens a lot. Anyways, this is probably the last one part of the video. I said this would be 10. Um, I don't know how many this was, like 4, 3. There'll be a part 2, possibly. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Consider subscribing. It helps the channel. We're so close to 80,000 subscribers. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Yay, yay, yay. Kimma says hi. Okay, bye. Noobs.